everyone welcome to this uh, new weekly reading vlog i literally just stopped filming my 24 hour readathon vlog i will put links to that down below up here if you want to watch that because i did another 24 hour readathon where i just read for an entire day and i had a lot of fun i had so much fun doing that reading vlog that i decided to well start doing these weekly reading vlogs again and yeah that is what i'm going to do right now another weekly reading vlog and basically school has started again and everything has gone sort of back to normal after the summer and today it's sunday and I actually have a really fun day planned because today i have a little booktube meetup with brit from basically Bridge. You guys probably all know her. We did collab videos together recently. And also with Sabine from Sabine's Book Nook, another Dutch booktuber. So we're going to meet up for lunch and it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, also I got this new red blazer and I'm like obsessed with it. It's perfect for fall and I just love the color red so much and uh, I'm, I'm obsessed with it just like to mention that as well and also maybe I should talk about what I'm currently reading that might be like relevant for this reading vlog so first of all I'm currently in the middle of the Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater the second book in the Raven Cycle series and yeah so far I'm enjoying it like it's very whimsical and magical and yeah I just love the writing style of these books so much it's a little bit weird and vague at times and sometimes I don't completely understand what's going on but still I'm very much intrigued and um, yeah, I'm definitely hoping to finish this this week. I am currently at page 178. So I think that should be possible. Like I'm about this far in. And then I also just started a new audiobook. I started listening to uh, City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. Oh, that looks a little bit weird. But anyway, the audiobook of City of Lost Souls. It's a reread. I'm rereading all the Shadowhunter books. So yeah, I started listening to that like yesterday evening, this morning. I always listen to audiobooks when I'm getting ready and everything. So yeah, that is what I'm currently reading and that is what I'm like up to at the moment. But yeah, I have to leave for like the meetup in about 30 minutes. And yes, I said I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really fun day. Okay, so I'm here with Brit and with Sabine. Hi. And we're going to get some lunch and we're all really hungry. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. And I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> we are visiting a bookshop because of course we have to. So we're just browsing through all the English books here. And it looks so pretty. It is Harry Potter heaven in here. They have all the books. It's gorgeous. I love them. I want them all. <laughs> Even though I already have a lot of these editions, but they're so pretty. We're writing quotes on this board. <laughs> Always a Snape. S a Snape. I don't know any quotes. I don't know what this to write. This is my quote. Did Insert you do all Harry Potter quotes. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's basically everything that covers it all. Guys, do you want to have like a Harry Potter doormat? Oh, give it to me. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> Michelle, your favorite book. My favorite book. One of my favorites. You have to buy it, right? But it's like here, a... <laughs> but sometimes soon I need to save money, okay? <laughs> is it like a floppy paper bag? One of those you can like, oh, oh yeah. that's I the like best. an American edition. That yeah. Simon and Schuster, so. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of feels weird. It's like but not a usual paperback cover. Guys, read it. Just read it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one's for you. Michelle, okay. I don't know that song. That's my personal song, I wrote that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now it's in a store. <laughs> yes. But the Harry Potter one is of course, oh wait. The one that we have. Yeah, I'm gonna recast. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds amazing. So we're sitting and we're having a drink again, and we also have a bitter bala, which is something like Dutch, and Brit is eating one right now. <laughs> And it's sort of like meat or something. I don't know how to explain it. And it doesn't look that tasty, I think. But it's really yummy. And yeah, I'm really hungry again. <laughs> so I am now back home again. And I had a really fun afternoon. We just had the best time. Like eating, talking, going to the bookstore. And yeah, I will link both Brits and Sabine's channel down below in the description box. If you want to check them out. And I did not buy any books. Because I just didn't really see anything that i was interested in or that i didn't own already so yeah didn't buy any books today so that's sort of like good restraint for me and now i'm really tired and i'm going to get in my chill clothing and then i'm going to do absolutely nothing 
for the rest of the evening. Good morning, it is now Monday and it's the start of another week. So I didn't read anything of the dream teas last night because I was just so tired so I just ended up sleeping. But I did listen to uh, quite a bit of my audiobook of City of Lost Souls this morning whilst tidying up my room and getting ready again. I am now at page 107 so like that's already quite a bit if you think of it that I just started it yesterday. I'm getting so much faster with audiobooks now that I have like these um, earless airpods. I also showed them in my 24 hour reading vlog but like these earless airpods are so convenient if you want to listen to audiobooks whilst you're doing other things and it's working out really well for me and now I can finish way more audiobooks than before so that's really nice. And yeah City of Lost Souls is of course a reread so I have already read it. Um, I'm enjoying it again and yeah I just have to finish my Shadowhunter reread before December which is coming quite close now. It's not that long until the publication of Queen of Air and Darkness so yes I cannot wait for that. And then another really exciting publication that is happening this week is that of Little White by Robert Gilbred who is of course JK Rowling. The fourth book in the Cormoran Strike series. I have it pre-ordered. I'm so excited to read it. So yeah, hopefully I will receive it this week but you never know with like pre-orders especially on Amazon sometimes they take way longer and I really hope that this is not the case with this book. But yeah I'm going to read Little White as soon as I get it because I'm so excited and it's going to be amazing. For now I think it's time that I'm actually going to do something for like school. I still have my thesis to work on and then this afternoon uh, I think I'm just going to edit some videos because I still have some pre-filmed videos that I have to edit and then tonight I have to work. I have to work from like 5 till 8. So yeah that's my Monday like my exciting Monday plans and yeah I just hope that I at least can get something done but yeah let's just see how it goes and yeah I'm now going to do a little bit of like university stuff and hopefully that goes well. I am back home from work and I was actually done early so that's really nice and yeah this afternoon I've edited a lot and I've made some thumbnails and I even read 20 pages of the dream thief so yes go me and yeah now I'm home early and I think I'm going to just take a shower get all comfortable in my pajamas and then tonight I'm going to watch Holland's Next Top Model with my mother and sister. I love Holland's Next Top Model. We're also watching America's Next Top Model by the way but I definitely prefer Holland's Next Top Model because the American version is always so like dramatic and extreme. But yeah that's just one of the TV programs that we follow so yeah we're going to watch that together tonight and then after that hopefully a little bit more reading but yeah I don't know let's just see how I feel. <laughs> hey it is Tuesday and I just filmed a video. I filmed my book review for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone so yeah very exciting. That's probably going online soon I hope. Yeah it just was so much fun to talk about Harry Potter with like spoilers and discussions and all my thoughts about this series. So yeah hopefully that video is going to turn out good because yeah, I really enjoyed filming it. So yeah, last night I did read a little bit of the Dream Thieves. I am now at page 230. So yeah, I read a little bit. And yeah, I don't have much to say about it. Like it's still beautiful and magical, but also a little bit confusing. I don't really know what's going on a lot of the time. But yeah, I'm now about halfway through. I really hope I can finish it this week. But I don't know, because once I receive... Little White, I will start reading that straight away. And today is actually the publication day of Little White, but I'm not receiving my copy yet because it won't be here until tomorrow. So yeah, really sad about that because I want to read it right now. But yeah, it will be here this week, so... Yeah, I'm just so excited for that book. It's really one of my most anticipated releases of the year. I always love new J.K. Rowling books. Like, even if this is like Robert Gilbert or something, it's still J.K. Rowling's writing and I need more of it in my life always. I think I'm now going to go for a walk and yeah maybe get some lunch and then this afternoon I don't really know. I'll probably do some more editing and some more like YouTube stuff and I think also a little bit for my thesis just like organize some stuff and then tonight I have to go to work again. So yeah this is pretty much like my life just my normal <laughs> everyday weekly life just youtube work school and yeah but the weather is really nice today so i'm going to go for a walk get some 
fresh air and some sunshine and yeah then i will see you again in a bit i feel pretty tired and sleepy right now and i really don't feel like being productive but i'm going to try anyway i just read a little bit more of the dream thieves about 30 pages or so i'm trying to like get little bits of reading done in like these reading breaks i really feel like reading but i just have like other stuff to do and yeah just see whatever progress i can make and yeah i just i want to read every single book on my shelf right now but i just don't have the time but yeah i think i'm now going to continue editing some videos i'm going to upload a video and yeah that's pretty much my afternoon plan hey so it has been a little while since i filmed something for this vlog it is now wednesday and it is already like after lunchtime. but i thought i would give you an update on my reading because it has been going pretty well i read some last night and i've been listening to my audiobook again so with the dream thieves i am now at page 284 this is a really weird edition by the way because like it's of such weird material and it all curls up and i really cannot read this without like damaging it but like it's all fine and then for city of lost souls which i'm listening to on a audiobook i am now at page 224 so yeah i've been making great progress in this one so overall reading this week is going really well so i'm very much pleased with that i mean honestly like all i want to do is reading and making booktube videos but i can't because i really have to work on school as well if i want to graduate like at the end of the year i'm in such an amazing reading mood all i want to do is read and i cannot read all day which makes me sad but like yeah that's just the way it is but oh i'm just so passionate about reading like yesterday i had this sudden urge of love for books and i just had to like pour it out on twitter i was just so happy and i just love books so much like i love reading genuinely so much so yeah just getting that out there apparently but yeah now it's time for me to make a to-do list because i have to do some other stuff today school other like adult things i really don't want to but yeah it has to happen unfortunately so let's just get going so i can get everything done as quickly as possible okay so <laughs> i just opened my diary and i see that my seven year old cousin who is like with us every tuesday um has left me a little present she has made a little drawing on this first page i had no idea i was like what is this i don't even know when she did this if she did this yesterday because she was here yesterday but like my diary was all tidied up like she couldn't reach it i think so maybe she did it the week before i don't know <laughs> oh that's sneaky i really didn't know she did that i mean it's not that bad i mean it's actually funny because it sort of has a story right now i guess but yeah sneaky little thing that is she just drawn on my beautiful Harry Potter diary. So look what I got. <laughs> Yay. I got Little White by Robert Gilbert. Also J.K. Rowling, of course. I am so excited to be holding this book. Like, I cannot wait to start it. Also, it is massive. It is so big. I did not know it would be this big. It's definitely a lot bigger than the other books in the series. Okay, so yeah, this book is like 650 pages long. Oh my god. But I'm all here for it because like this many pages of Comrade Strike, like who knows how many years we have to wait for the next ones. And I'm lucky because I only read like the common strike books recently so i didn't have to wait for this that long but it already felt long to me because like as soon as i finished career of evil i like wanted the next book immediately love these books so much definitely like one of my favorite crime novels and yeah i cannot wait to read this okay so like this afternoon i still have to do some editing and school stuff but then tonight after dinner i am allowed to dig into this book and I cannot be more excited like this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year definitely but this is not the only book that i got this week i actually got a lot more so i also got we the drowned by karsten jensen so i saw this book when i was in the bookstore last sunday and remember me saying that i was like all about self-control and that i did not buy any books well i ordered this one anyway because it just stuck in my head the thing is though that the copy in the store 
was a little bit damaged and it was also more expensive than it would be online and i wasn't quite sure at the time but i couldn't forget about it so i was like let's just buy it this book is also massive i don't know what it is with me and big books but apparently like i'm in the mood for it and i believe this is historical fiction and it's about the ship and a crew and it sounds amazing and it had some really good reviews so yeah another book that i got this week and i also received uh maybe in another life by taylor jenkins reed i've been reading a lot by her recently so yeah i just needed a new one because i already had read all the books that i owned by her and these books are just so entertaining so well written and always about like love and i just love them and then lastly i got mistress of rome by kate quinn i recently read the alice network by kate quinn and i fell in love with that book like that was one of the best historical fiction books i ever read so i decided to see what else she had written and like this one came up immediately so mistress of rome is about a slave girl i believe and about a gladiator and i believe there's romance but also war and violence so like that sounds like a perfect dark history story to me cannot wait to read this as well so yeah i'm in a very happy mood yeah i'm going to receive more this week because this afternoon i ordered some fantasy books i don't know why but i've been in like such a massive mood for fantasy all of a sudden like i'm craving fantasy and i think i might start the mistborn series very soon because like suddenly i just want to read them like i really have weird reading moods like that like all over the summer i was in the mood for uh, like romance contemporaries and historical fiction and now i'm like shifting towards fantasy because like it's fall so it's getting like colder well it's not that cold by the way this week but you know what i mean so yeah really happy about all the books that i got like as i just said this morning i'm in such a reading mood and i just i don't know i feel very happy but yeah it's time to go back to doing some productive things so yeah let's do that first and then tonight i have little white and it's amazing so i read like the first couple of pages and i'm already <laughs> so excited this is going to be a good one i'm pretty sure of it so yeah i'm now done for like the day and i just had dinner so yeah now the rest of the evening i'm going to yeah mostly read this book and yeah i cannot wait again and yeah then i will update you again tomorrow to tell you how much of it i read and my thoughts but i think they are going to be positive good morning it is now thursday and i'm going to the gym i'm all in my like sports clothes and yeah like miracles do happen i'm actually going to the gym like, i've been trying to go to the gym for like once a week and so far like it's going well but yeah like my physical condition is absolutely the worst but yeah i'm going to go to the gym for a little workout and yeah hopefully i can like last a little bit longer than last week and yeah last night i read of course little white and i'm now 90 pages in and i'm loving it this book is definitely taking a different turn than the first three ones yeah but it's also massive like it's so so much it's so big it's so long but i'm all okay with that because lots of story and i'm definitely going to continue with that like later today but first let's go for a workout and hopefully i will survive so i am back from the gym i took a shower and everything so yeah i did my workout but i'm still not in the best physical shape also i'm not bothering with makeup today because i really don't feel like it i don't know my eyes look a bit small somehow but whatever Ever. and yeah you know like people are always saying that if you go to the gym you get this energy and then you're like woken up and you can do lots of stuff i never feel that way like when i go to the gym in the morning then the rest of the day i'm just uh, i'm tired <laughs> Maybe I just need to do it more so I get like more energy, I guess. But yeah, something completely different. I've been getting a lot of comments about how everyone is really excited for the Harry Potter reviews. And that just makes me so insanely happy. Like people are actually excited for it and want to watch it. And like that just means so much to me. And it is coming, I promise. It will probably be the next video after I upload this uh, reading vlog. So it won't be too long now. Yeah, it is just... It's still so insane to me that like 
people are interested in what I have to say and like take my book recommendations and love watching my videos. I know like that's the most cliche thing ever and every YouTuber ever says that. But I get so many like sweet comments and sweet messages about how they are inspired to read more and how like they love watching my videos and like it means so much to me and it's just so strange that I don't know I just can't comprehend it. And it's also weird to me that you guys know what I look like and like what I sort of do in my daily life. But like with a lot of people, I don't know anything about you. So that's why if you leave a comment on this video, um, please let me know how old you are and where you live. And maybe tell one fun fact about yourself. It can be something bookish or something completely random, like what's your favorite food or whatever. I mean, you don't have to, of course, it's if you want to, but I would love to read about that because I just want to know like who are the people who are watching this. So yeah, just tell me something about yourself. Where do you live? What is something you would like to share? I really would love to know. And like, just know that reading the comments makes me smile so much. And like, it really sort of warms my heart. And uh, I, I don't know. I just really thank you so much for that. Yeah, that was what I wanted to share right now. I haven't done any reading in the meantime. Um, I guess I suppose I'll have to do some more school stuff. I haven't been doing great this week, but I'm like slowly getting back into it. But it's going to be fine, I'm sure. Like I try not to stress about it. It's going to be fine just one thing at a time. And then that thesis will be written finally. Hey, so it is Friday and today is like the official start of fall. And also the weather is very fall-like because... There's a very strong wind and there's supposed to be a storm tonight, which I hope because I don't have to be anywhere tonight. So then I love listening to a storm. I'm really a massive fan of fall. So this makes me very happy. Also, I can wear like a sort of sweater again, which is amazing. But then updates on my reading with Little White. I'm now at page uh, 150 and like I'm loving it. But as I said, this book is so massive. Like there's so much story so it really takes a while to get through it but then on the other hand it's not hard to get into like it's very addictive and you really like fly through it but it's just so long and i really want to finish it this weekend but i don't know if i'm going to manage it but who knows let's just give it a try and with city of lost souls i'm at uh, page 298 so yeah just going along with this as well with the audiobook it's all going fine Ooh, it's starting to get really sunny all of a sudden but okay and yeah i haven't read anything of the dream thieves since little white arrived so i don't know if i'm going to pick that up again uh, until i finish that but yeah i've been having a really good reading week and it just makes me very happy so this afternoon i have to go to group therapy again i've talked about this before but I go to a therapy group every Friday afternoon. It's for a lot of different reasons, but yeah, that's now is not really the time and place to go really into detail about that. What I do want to say, um, I don't think I've told this on my channel yet, but since the beginning of the summer, I have been starting to take medication against my uh, anxiety and panic attacks. I believe it's technically an antidepressant, but it's against a depression, anxiety and OCD. I am not depressed, but I do struggle a lot with anxiety. Maybe you could have noticed that with some of my vlogs from uh, before the summer. I was really struggling with everything back then. But now I've started to take medication and so far it has been really, really helpful. Of course, it doesn't cure anxiety, but it really makes me feel a lot lighter and a lot more like normal or something. Well, not normal, but like... Um, it's hard to explain, but everything was always so chaotic with me and I was literally scared and anxious about everything. And now some of that weight has lifted off me and I can relax a lot more easily. It's really like something cleared in my head. And that makes me very happy. You might have noticed during this reading vlog, I'm just a lot more happy in general. Just like... I just enjoy things more, I think. Of course, like, it's not always going to be like that. And I do have a thesis to finish. And I haven't worked on it that much this week. But when that gets more stressful, of course, there will be some more anxiety. But the medication definitely has helped. And I'm so happy that I have this now. And that I had the opportunity to do that. And yeah, I'm just so grateful for that. And... Yeah, I hope it's going to help me a lot more. So yeah, I guess the moral of this story is if you have the opportunity 
to um, use medication please do not feel afraid to do so if you think it can help you i know not everyone can do it but like for me it has helped a lot and yeah i'm very happy about that and now it's time for lunch i think and then i only have like a little time until i have to go to therapy so yeah, maybe i will read a little bit more i don't know but yeah let's just see i am back home i just had some takeaway dinner and now it's going to be an entire friday evening of relaxing reading probably watching a movie and there was already a storm just now and it's going to storm more later and i just love like storms and thunder and everything i mean when i'm inside a safe house of course so yeah really looking forward and let's just see how much i can read of this uh massive massive book so it is now saturday and last night i had a great time reading little white i'm now at around page 300 so i'm about halfway through and i'm enjoying it so much and i really want to know how this book is going to turn out and like how the mystery is going to be solved and everything and yeah i'm just dying to know so today um, i've been doing some laundry i've just finished editing a video that i'm going to put online tonight and right now i think i'm going to um organize my books a little bit because i want to unhaul some books so yeah i'm just going to see what i'm going to take off my shelves i already put some books aside for unhauling in like the past couple of weeks or so like every time i go through my shelves and think what i want to get rid of so there will be a very big book unhaul coming to you very soon yeah i just want to like be excited about all the books on my tbr and i want to love all the books on my shelves so yeah it's time for a little bit of a cleanup yeah i think i'm going to do that right now and then of course also uh listen to my audiobook which is also going great so yeah that's my saturday basically and yeah let's just see how everything goes a couple of hours later and i've completely lost the will to do like anything productive i don't know i just i tried to reorganize my bookshelves but i just wasn't feeling it like i got completely like sort of blocked didn't matter how i put it it just didn't work for me so i think i have to reorganize my shelves another time because reorganizing my bookshelves should be something fun and right now it wasn't really so yeah and yeah now i'm just going to get back to reading because i just I don't feel like doing anything and um, I mean that's okay because it's Saturday so that's what Saturdays are for I guess. Today I want to finish Little White. So I'm now at page 400 so I have like around 200 pages left so still a lot but let's see if it's doable. Also I'm like my Sunday relax outfit I don't have any makeup on and I'm loving it. And it's like super dark outside and rainy and like typical fall weather and again i love it so much it's like the perfect weather to read a crime novel so wish me luck and let's see if i can finish this so i finished it i finished this massive book and i really enjoyed it definitely a five out of five stars this was my favorite uh, of the Cormoran Strike book so far. So yeah, I've been just reading this the entire day. It's now like um, half past seven. So yeah, I basically just had the best fall reading day. And like it's raining outside and everything. And I just could not put it down. It was a very long ride. A very intense ride. But like it was really, really good. And I'm sad it's over because I really want the next book in the series right now but yeah i think this is probably a very good moment to end this weekly reading vlog so yeah if you enjoyed this vlog maybe give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to i would really appreciate that and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye